Hello and welcome uh, to another Optics Rate Debates. As you probably noticed in the last couple of debates, we are going through all the uh, specific parameters which you can find in our tables of specification on our web page associated with different types of products that we sell. And lately, today, and myself, Taylor, we are making these debates uh, about all the parameters, all the specification, uh, important specifications uh, associated with laser rangefinders. So, which topic will we debate today? Well, Fyodor, today we'll discuss the term uh, which goes by the name of scan mode or mm -hmm. continuous scan mode. Yeah. Measurement. Yeah. Continuous measurement. Scan um, mode, yeah. And the question, of course, is obvious. What, what is this, this actual scan mode? What does this actually mean? Well, you have two types or two modes how a laser rangefinder, either in binoculars or in a small monocular, can measure. And one is the, the target mode, which you just press the button, you point the, and aim at the target which you wish to range to see how far away it is, and then it gives you one value how far away it is. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is the normal one-time measurement. However, in most of the devices, not most, in many of the devices, if you hold the button, it will start to measure the distance continually. So it will measure every half a second or every second. And this is really useful if you hold the button and you do panning. You go left and right, up and down. Mm -hmm. And it just gives you a reading every second. Mm -hmm. So you see how the, the distance is changing. And it also works if you look at the moving objects. Let's say you're looking at the car which is driving away. You press the scan mode, look and aim at the car, and it will give you a measurement each second or, or so, it depends from the manufacturer, it depends from the model, and you will see continually how far away the car is. So the distance will change because the car is moving away, or if it's driving towards you, the same, the same principle. So this is scan mode, that it continuously uh, does measurements and readings of the range. Mm -hmm. uh, why, why would you think that the scan mode is required with the laser rangefinders or laser rangefinders binoculars? This one is really hard to answer. Uh, I would say it's more like of um, user preference. <clears throat> I have to be honest, I never used it. In, I, I, at least in my experience, what I'm using the binoculars uh, with the laser rangefinder integrated or the monoculars, I never really needed the scan mode. At least in, in the way I'm using them. Maybe somebody does. But it's always good if you have an option to have it, than to need it and not have it. Mm. So. I think it's, it basically comes down to the uh, what type of observation do you wish to go for. True. I think that's True. the basic. It's also maybe if you're, well I use it mostly for sport shooting and hunting. With sport shooting you have targets which don't move, so you're, you don't need the scan mode. Mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, with hunting in most cases you also don't need the scan mode. Or if you are observing the animal which is moving, you put it in scan mode and you see the readings how far away the animal is and when it stops you already have the reading where it is you already have the the range estimated or measured so maybe maybe in some specific cases with hunting you also need the scan mode and in general i I'm, i have to be honest i'm not aware who really desperately needs this scan mode mm -hmm. it is good to have it yeah of course yeah. uh is it good to have it? Mm -hmm. So which which uh, which laser rangefinders and laser rangefinding binoculars actually have this? Do all all of those? No, have this some of them that? don't. Mm -hmm. It's and what is really funny is it's not so closely connected with the price. So it's not like okay, I know that this Swarovski has it. I think Leica. I have to check. I think also has it. But it's not always like this. Okay, if you buy a super expensive uh, laser rangefinder, it will have scan mode. It's not necessary. And on the other side, you can buy really, really cheap laser rangefinders, uh, which also feature scan mode, even mm -hmm. though they lack some other yes. features. So uh, basically, it's all about. It's at the end, it goes all down to the manufacturer and what they decide how uh, to do it. Would you say that target mode and scan mode? Uh, which one would you would you would you think is the most commonly designed and used? 
uh, by manufacturers the scan mode scan or? mode is more common mm -hmm. because I, I presume the target mode which we explained in, in another video uh, I presume that the target mode is a little bit harder to, to implement mm -hmm. than, than scan mode and with first priority or target mode you get this feature in more expensive uh, products and more expensive laser rangefinders while with scan mode it's not associated with the price. Mm -hmm. It can be a cheap uh, laser rangefinder which will not feature target mode, but it will feature scan mode. Mm -hmm. so, what about you mentioned the measurement? So if you, for example, measure uh, measure an object and you scan it, of course, mm -hmm. and if you go perhaps uh, too fast, so this can the speed influence the, the scan? Yeah, because okay, the best products they they can do continuous measurements so fast that the increment between first and the second and the third and the fourth, the increment between each measurements will be really, really small. Mm -hmm. But others need more time mm -hmm. for each individual measurement. So some of them have a continuous scan mode which measures every two seconds. Mm -hmm. But when you're doing panning from left to right, yes. in two seconds you can go really far. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, in this respect, uh, normally the better devices, which are faster, which are able to do the measurements faster, those will have a better scan mode. Mm -hmm. Those which need more time for each individual measurement will have a slower. So scan basically, mode. if you have a, a bit more of an entry price class laser rangefinder and you measure at a very close or closer distance, this is perhaps not yeah. the best thing to do. Yeah, I also think it's uh, if you'll do fast panning, uh, you will see that it freezes in, <laughs> yeah, of course, in, uh, in steps between each yeah. measurement. Okay, thank you, Phil. Thank you today. So I hope we explained the scan mode good enough that now everything is clear. Uh, if you forgot anything, please use comments. If you have any suggestions for our debates and videos also, please your com uh, use comments. And normally uh, subscribe if you liked. Take care. Take care. Bye.